I'm Tim Love. Hi, I'm Sierra, and I'm Laughter. Welcome to The Truth. The Truth, episode five. Now, I know this might seem a little confusing, but unfortunately, as you can see, our original girl, Roxy, she is no longer with us anymore. We have a new call host. Yes, another one who's just as outspoken as we are, so say hello and introducing Sierra. Sierra. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm Sierra. I'm new to The Truth. And today our topic is going to be on depression, surviving depression. Um, well, that's honestly, it's about to be another deep one, y'all, because depression is realistically no joke. And you never know when someone is really battling it. And the ones who battle it the most are the ones who have the brightest smile. Exactly. They're always hiding behind a smile. You never know what somebody's going through. And you know what the biggest situation is? I feel like it's the big situation. It's a bigger issue in our black community. Yes. Number one, they feel as though when they say it's depression or they care about therapy, oh, that's a white thing. That's the white thing. Okay. Depression has no type no of race. color. It's no race, no nothing. I agree on that Mental one. health is serious. They take mental health as a joke in our community. And you know something? Like, it's not a game. It's not. And when people take it as a joke, that's honestly when tr more trouble is developed. Well, I, no I think it's dealing with a lot of things that has happened in your life. That's true. Even mm -hmm. children have depression. Mm -hmm. And like our co-host Sierra said, it has no color. And people take it for a joke. Now, Della, how about this? Um, would you be able to like, explain like maybe a life, a life experience that you went through and how you went to cope yeah. and how... Well, Maybe the yes. survival. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, well, yeah, we each both have a, actually have a story. Well, we go first. Me dealing with depression, you get sad, you get lonely, you feel alone, you feel it like you're in a box, like you're in this medicine container, and you can't get out. There's nowhere to go, no one to talk to, and you get really, really depressed, you cry a lot. Just feel that everybody is against you. Wow. Yeah. And it's not a good feeling. I have a question. So when you take, I've never, I'm not gonna say I've never experienced depression or up or mood swings up and down, but I never had, I never took a medication for it. Now you guys both have been on that medication. Yes. Now taking that, does it make you feel like a zombie? Have you ever felt like, like, or does it make, does it make you feel like you're ready to go tackle the world and conquer everything, or do you feel like you just like it just puts you at a mood, like it just puts you, like you just. Well, it all depends well, on the person. It, it, exactly. It, it, dep it depends on how to frame it, Mark. Because for me, from my experience, before I was taking this, I none of y'all even knew. I was really sad at times. It, it, it got worse after my sister died. When my sister died, my daughter said I went to a severe depression. So, but once I started taking this, it's like I would wake up. I was like certain things wouldn't even bother me. Like certain things I wouldn't get be too sad about. And I wouldn't be too angry about it. So it, it, it does help on some level. So you felt like it did help you. Like it, it did help you. You were able to go out and go do things. You exactly. Do. You didn't find a zombie. Exactly. Because you know, like, I mean, they always say, like, okay, the like, doctors always prescribe pills, pills, pills. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Well, certain medicines do that to you. Exactly. Yeah. Certain I, medicines have a, um, a chemical in it yeah. that makes your body just don't want to do anything. Yeah, that's true. But with this particular medicine that we're talking about today it gives you a vibe that you will be able to face the enemy got you you'll yeah. be able to face everything yeah, it's like and it's you still, won't it does be able, to the you mind. won't have to put that that mirror in front of you or that and that picture face. Face. exactly exactly face. Mm -hmm. face. you don't yep. have to put another fear in front of you to say oh I'm here y'all and deep down inside, it's like, I don't really want to be around no one. And this is the, the depression itself. When you're depressed, you find someone and you look for someone just like you so you can communicate and understand each other. When you don't have that, 
you know, you, you feel alone. And yeah. that's I, honestly, I think that's one of the reasons how we end up clicking at work. It was just something that was just drawn. Besides the pain that a similar pain that we both share in regards to childhood trauma and devastating losses, we connect on so many levels. Mine, mine started twenty years ago, and I didn't even know that I had depression twenty years ago. You yeah. diagnosed, or you started, you knew something was wrong. With you. No. I didn't and know anything. I was lashing out at people, and they was like, you're just doing that because your mom passed away. But that really took a toll on me. I was pregnant. Okay. And I wasn't with my mom in, anyway. So when I got with her, she was already on her deathbed. So it was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? So it's like... Losing your best friend, losing, how could I say? A part of you, really? Yeah, it's like it's losing a piece your of soul. Your heart. Yeah, a piece of your heart. Like I told Tim the other day, he lost his sister. Great big deal. But when you lose your mom, that is your world. Exactly. Similar pains, but different scenarios. Can you imagine, imagine not having your mom to just say, hello, mom? Just to pick up that Something phone. Something as simple as a uh, phone call. Exactly. I understand. I, I go through that every day. You know, so you gotta be scared because, like. I envy <sighs> people that have their mom. I do. That's I scary envy to me. you. Because I see you and your mom, and I be like, dang. I remember when I used to be able to do that. And it really hurts. I'm sorry that you know, I'm saying, but you guys know that you know, I'm sorry for both of your losses. It doesn't matter the time length, it doesn't matter how long ago it happened or it did happen. You, it happens, period. So can't nobody tell you, oh, you have to get over it now. Everybody and grieves in their own exactly, time period. Thank you. you don't jump to grieve like this. If you grieve in your own time period, you do what you need to do. Some but, people tell you. Like I said, I mean, people. It's, okay. it's, so, it's so easy for people to say that when they yeah. don't go through it. Yeah. Do you know what kind of pain that is? That that That's like... Living no, with cancer every single day, damn day of your life. A piece of your heart is gone. A piece of your soul is gone. That's not something that will easily heal overnight. So people really get on my nerves when they say, oh, you just need to get over it. And when I, people die. Okay, yes, people die. But that doesn't mean that the shit still hurts. It still hurts all the same. And then I know you got mothers that come right around the corner. Those are everyday reminders. Yeah. And then it's like, and you even, know what? I'm yeah. grateful to have my mother every day because I have people come to me. I have friends. Like, damn, like, my mom was never there for me. The way your mom brought out for you and she and she, I've never had that. Like, damn, like, and then you know we go through what we go through and everything. But at the end of the day, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And yeah. when you wake up in the morning, you see your mom. You're right. When you wake up in the morning, you see your brothers that they're around. Yeah. So for me and Tim, it's like some, some days I see, I see it in Tim. When I first met Tim, I seen it all in him. The hurt. The hurt. And the pain. And didn't I tell you, you need a hug? <laughs> yeah, you did tell me that. It's like she saw right through me. I was like, <laughs> like okay, I, I, okay, maybe this is from God. Maybe this is one of God's angels. Like, why would Lord I need knows. a hug from you? And I'm like, angel in disguise. <laughs> right, because Lord disguise. knows the time and no one I knew. I, I was really grieving on yes. the inside. So it's like the timing was perfect on that note. And it's like, wow. from that first day I walked into that receiving room, we just clicked. And like I told, I told Alfred, Tim? is my security blanket and he told me i'm his because it's a comfort that we give each other that we don't get from the people that we lost it's an unspoken bond mm -hmm. and then yes. and the body will infiltrate that and break that exactly and um it's like with depression it's like a big situation so it's like all right, you like for instance, you don't know if something's wrong with you unless you go to a hospital because the doctors and you get diagnosed. But it's like, for instance, for me, I know I have situations like I'm more of a person like want to say like, all right, I'm a loner. Now at the day, like I feel like I have nobody to talk to. Somebody, and it's like my biggest thing is opening up and let people in. I always feel like I don't want to tell somebody my business. And then I feel like they try to use it against me in the long run. It's like, right. I'll have trust issues. Right. Well, yeah, I'm very, I have, you know, I have big trust issues with yeah. people. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I would never say, tell somebody something like, See. I wouldn't mind being repeated. But at the same time, it's like, it. how am I supposed to keep all this bottled in? Because as soon as something happens, I just explode. 
And I don't want that to happen. We don't just explode. When you have depression, you don't explode. But, the, but, 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 but remember um, all those times when we were... Remember, I did have my explosions, yes. but that's because they were triggers. Um, Our right. supervisor, he, it was, certain things he would say you, was a you trigger. You say certain things Certain things could be a trigger. They don't even know what you're going through. So exactly. They you right. a certain way. Exactly. See, you're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a loner. He's a people person. He, I feel like I'm a people person, but I'm saying when it comes down to... My when it comes down to real life feelings and me going through something, I need to I need to get I need to bond with somebody and talk to them. I don't have that right now. Right. I just feel like I'm in. It's, I don't have that right now. I'm not saying I didn't find it right. in you guys because now I'm meeting you guys. You right. Know, I feel very comfortable talking to you guys. Right. But people in my age bracket, you don't get that right now. Everybody's too busy wow. doing other stuff, and it's like when you're going through something. Not to over talking about I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah, when you're going through something, it sometimes I feel like all right, if I'm going through something, what everybody's going through something. So I feel like. What makes it okay for me to speak on something if I'm going through something? Somebody can go through something even worse. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Well, so the only like, way that you're going to yeah. find that out is cool. if you speak on it. Because I've learned something from Tim. I'm a loner. Tim can tell you, I'm a loner. I don't talk. But I have depression, too. Okay? And I shut Alfred out. And believe it or not, yeah, that's true. And believe, it, and believe it or not, as much as I'm a people person, even I have my days when I just feel like shutting everybody out. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're human. I mean, that's going to be It's expected. a human thing to shut people out, but when you have depression, it's a little bit more deeper. Because depression comes from certain things that happen to you. That's true, certain like like I said, certain that, things that yeah, trigger. certain um, things from your childhood, and when you go years without getting help for that or talking to somebody about that, when you keep all that in, when you become an adult, yeah, it, it, comes you you it comes into your character. It comes into your character as you yes. become an adult. I think I learned first hand on that. You you see how <laughs> now you see how you, I know. you see how y'all say I'm really demanding at work. That's because I mean you said bossy. Demanding. Well, yeah, same thing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. demanding, bossy, same yes. thing. Yeah, like the, like, the words in my mouth, Miss Bossy Pants. Yes. <laughs> That's an insider. But. <laughs> See, laughter, there you go. But. It's because everybody bossed me around. That's so what now she's used to. it's like. Comes off natural. Exactly. Just now that natural. I'm older, it's like, well, yeah. you need to do this and do it right now because this is not happening. Because, right, you see, yeah, because that's all you, that's all you, that's, do. All, that's all you, I was told. that's all you know, right. so when you, when you grow up, it comes into your character, it comes into your character. And that's very true, that's and so true. it makes you, not a good, not a bad person, but, but people will tend to shy away from you more, take, they, they yeah. might take it as, you know, I can't yeah. do it, she's too exactly. abrasive, she's too pushy, she's mm-hmm. lovely, right. the whole time, you don't really yeah. mean any harm, it's yes. just, Sometimes somebody yeah. might be talking to you, hey, you might want to just dial back a little bit. But, at least, but yeah, the thing about but, it is, come talk to somebody about it. Yes. Like, Pull them that's to the why side. I hate when people Pull you know, keep side. stuff about it and then they blow up or they'll go talk to somebody else about it instead of coming to the source. Exactly. Like, talk it out with your thoughts. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but you know, some people still want to like it. Sometimes I notice when you have depression, you don't know how to express it. So, and because sometimes, yeah, that's you're true. You're so scared that they may take it the wrong way. Because depression is like a special kind of hell. How could I say it's another person? So now we get into bipolar disorder. It's under, yes. got, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's, it. it's, it's, it's in that same category. Yes. Yes. And it's I that same both. category. I have okay. both. She has both. It's like you I have, both the, both I have the, 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 the just. The, the I have part. both, and I've realized that some days I'm hee 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 hee, and some days. And like, that's, that's how it is. I mean, yeah. and I'm like that with everyone. See, it's it's scary because you. It's like you don't know what person you're gonna get. Exactly. You can be happy. Oh, hey, hey, what's up, girl? Hey, what's up? What's going? Let's go chat out for one one day. The next day you come like, bitch, get away from me. Like all you, you get what I'm saying? Just about your friendships. Then. Exactly. Today, I was trying to explain to you like, oh, that's another segment about forgiveness and everything. But yeah, which we will but, get to. But I was gonna say, um, like for instance, you're going through something. And if you said you don't know what you're going to get, me being somebody that's still trying to learn how to deal with other people in those situations, because I'm so quick to just like, you know, I only got the energy to deal with it. So, mm-hmm. like, say one day you come in, you're happy, you're talking to me, next day you're not. 
me not knowing that you're depressed or something, I'll take it as I'll get offended. Not get offended, offended. No, but I'll just will. be like, well, what? Mm-hmm. Well, I won't get offended, people, yeah, well, but people, I will. They, they tend not, to feel oh, some kind of way. Type of way. No, I did. You or will. I have. No, I'm I saying, have those type of way on many occasions. And I'm like, we was just busting up, laughing, and now today I say hi. Yeah, people tend to take it. I do, and I'm thinking I did something wrong, but you know, then I'm like, you know what? Right. Sierra and Mike, she might be going through something so, on the outside. Don't always exactly don't take it. Saying. Don't take it as this was on the surface. So yeah, because someone so, take it the wrong way if they don't know what's if going she on. She wants exactly. to talk about it and she wants to divulge it. She could, and it exactly. goes for everybody. Yeah, I say. I mean, if you pull me to the side, tell me what the, what the hell is going on. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I know when when to approach you, when not to approach you. At least we on a communication level. I but if you found, don't say nothing, I only found one person to do that way. That's ten. And that's ten. Uh, I'll tell him in a heartbeat. I'll tell him before I tell my husband. I tell him everything. And I don't tell Alfred. And it's bad because that's... Well, what do you y'all need to have a certain level of communication? It, it's not... No, Alfred talks to me. Mm-hmm. He talks, but... but you don't but you put yourself up. It, it's... It's a, com- it's, a com- it's a little complicated. Yeah, it say. is very complicated because it's like I'm here by myself all day after work. That's what's in the car. Even if you go to New York, you know, you should people. I feel like it's the out, even though the situation that came up that happened over the past, we're not going to go into it, but you know, the situation that you just went through, and he was just like, none of our friends down here are friends in New York. So I was just like, you know something, she knows her true family, people are that she can, when she leaves, she leaves. But it's like, since I moved to Delaware, I have yet to connect with anybody on that level. And I find myself, I go do things with my sister, I go out with her here and there, but other than that, I have no friends. And it's like, I can't call See, anybody yeah. and be like, let's go hang out. And if yes. I ever come up and say, can we do this, can we do that? Most likely, I'm really looking forward to doing it. So if somebody brushes it off or or, or something like that, it hurts me. Like, so I'm not going to tell you it hurts me, thing. but it hurts me. That's because the at the same time, I open yeah. myself up to try to spend yeah. time with you and try mm-hmm. to give us a chance mm-hmm. on being a friend uh-huh. to building this friendship. And it makes me want to just turn myself off again. And fall. I'm like, but well, what is wrong with me? Why don't I want to hang out with me? What's wrong with me? What? Why? Yeah, that's how I'm like, but why not? I said and I'm too much of like what happened at work. I mean, at that, I wasn't trying to make a big deal about it, but it made me think like it, that. That type of stuff plays. That plays with me in my head. And until I get got to deal with it, I'm not going. It's going to keep it in my head when I wake up. And I might forget about it, but when we get I'm going to keep thinking about it because now, it's like, it's that a affects a me when people trigger. think about yeah. me. Not saying I should care, Della, right. until well, I know. right. But it, but does, it does affect me because I already don't have. Like, I don't hurt them. Exactly. So people now people are not everybody at work so going to right. think that I'm hard to deal with or I'm this type of See? person. That. And I'm like, I'm not like that. So if I come to y'all for reassurance, like, I shouldn't care what you think, but I do. I'm like, if these are people that I work with every day and they're starting to get to know me, do they look at me like that? Do I feel like I'm hard to deal with? Right. Or this, that, and third? Right. Am I this, am I that? So that's right. why I took it so hard and, yeah. and, it, and it really bothered me. And I'm like, well, I get obsessed. I obsess about it. Mm-hmm. I know that's not healthy. I know it's, it's not, not but you're like I said, it's you're only human. You're, you're, you have human emotions. That that that's normal. I mean, that's what everybody will go through. Exactly. You're only human. You you someone that has a heart. Everybody has a little bit of bipolar. Yeah, whether they want to admit it or not, whether they want to admit it or depression depression not, they do. We all have. Yes. We all have a little everybody bit. Everybody have a little bit. It's always certain. But sometimes our community don't want to admit it. They do not want to admit it. You know why? Because the black community is too prideful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I
Exactly. Because you need to talk to somebody. You need to. That's all people need. They need someone to talk to. Someone to get their feelings out. And it's not talking to your family. It's not always talking to your friends. Sometimes you need to talk to a stranger. House to someone that don't know. They always say it's better for you to talk to someone who doesn't know you versus someone who does know you. That has no no, um, No connections to you. Mm -hmm. Because they're not there to judge you. Exactly. And they're not going to tell you, well, girl, you need to sit down somewhere. Exactly. Boy, you a fool. See? No, you don't need yeah, that. You no. need somebody that's going to embrace you and tell you it will be okay. Exactly. Embrace you need you, someone you. to tell you that it's just temporary. Exactly. It's a very thing. And a lot of times people don't have that. They really don't. It goes back to the support that you need. And a lot of people don't have support. And that's honestly what would... That's honestly... And when people don't have that support, that's even more so a trigger because they so filled with anger. It's like, who do I turn to? Exactly. Who, who's there for me? Yes. And, and this one right here, as, as a other little symbol of the Bible, that's honestly what, what, saved, what saved me more than anything. And that is God. I'm referring to God. Every, even when I'm in my depressed stage, I, if, if I feel like I'm about to cry or I feel like I'm about to break down or feel like I'm nothing, I read my Bible. I talk to God. I pray to God. And you know what? He listens. Because when I wake up the next morning, it's like I don't feel as, as as much pain as I did the night before. Well, I do a little bit of different things. Okay. I, um, I listen to the music. That helps. Music. I listen yes. to the Word yes. of God. Through music. Through music. And, and they always say and music is the best to, medicine. If I have to scream, shout, holler, I do it. And it makes me feel much better in the mornings. But then sometimes, you know, you get that day that you just don't want to be bothered. Well, then, I mean, everyone going to have that day. Even, even, the most, even the most people, yeah, they're yeah, going to have that day. I mean, ain't nobody perfect. No. Ain't nobody going to be sunshine but and roses forever. Sometimes comes, that depression okay. comes and you don't know that it's going to be there. Really don't. don't know, but do you know? But like what you just said, though, like that's your that's your that's your cope to cope mechanism. You have nobody to talk to. But you know, a lot of people self medicate. So I'm going to get to that. You have re- like people drink. Like, are we drinking our wine here? But you know, something wrong with that. But yeah. people go to alcohol and they go to drugs. So I'm not gonna oh, lie. Like yeah. some people self medicate exactly. when it comes to situations like that. Instead yeah. of dealing with it, mm-hmm. you go medicate. So I'm not gonna lie, that right there, I've been through that. I went to drugs, you know what I'm saying, and, I, and then they feel good for the time. They take that edge off for the time. They make me feel good for the time. But when being, that wears off, that's you still the I'm still, 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 those still there. And that's, that and that, that, still that, that's there. something I want to get to. That, that's help. something I want to get to because, like you said, you did drugs and whatnot, right? Yeah. Alcohol mm-hmm. was out. Yeah. Alcohol was my thing. Like how drugs, it made you, it made you feel good in that moment, right? Marijuana pills, See? whatever. And believe it or not, people they tend to go around having sex with anybody. Just to get, just to release that pain and whatnot. Nice. But if there's something I'm learning, and I really have to Addictions. say this, I really have to say this. That's where still seeking help comes in there because no matter what, you can't smoke or sniff it away, you can't drink it away, and you can't screw it away. No, because at the end of the day, oh, I, I don't mind saying it again. Hell yeah, you can't, you can't it. sniff it or smoke it away, you can't drink it away, and you can't screw it away. That because at the end of the day, that pain is still gonna be right there until you find a healthy solution. The only healthy solution is to go get help. Yes, there's no shame. In that. You can you can self medicate yourself, but look for look towards God. Yes, that's the, the that. number one person you have to look to because Lord knows the He will help you. He's the one that's going to be there for you regardless, yeah. even whoever, more so than your parents or whoever you pray to and whoever you pray to, whoever right. you believe in. Yeah. Exactly. You meditate and get more into that word, and you do what you need to do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know, we, well, yeah. we, we believe in God. Yeah, we do. We, we're, we're, very we strong, we, yes. we're very strong. We're very strong religious people. We believe in God very much. So, so that's why we got to put that out there. Because if it wasn't for God, I don't even think we we three would even still be sitting here right now. Me personally. It wasn't them, I still would be. No. Here. Exactly. So we. Plenty of days I wanted to just end it all. End I it second. All. I second that. Sure. Some I'm days. Perfect. Some days I don't even want to get up. Some days I just I'll text, I'll text him and tell him I don't want to be here today. And it's crazy because that's how I, I was like, okay, one of us got to be strong right now. So I was just try to uplift her. Like, oh, come on, we, we got to pull through this yes. together. We got we hit yes. we going through it together. We got to stay strong together. 
plenty of days I call him crying out of nowhere. When you have someone there, call them. You may take the edge off of them, and they may take the edge off of you. Everyone needs that one person. Yes. You never know, like, to be honest, like you just said, like, you never know. One phone call, one hug can turn yeah. somebody's day around. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. that's in the Bible, too. Yeah. That's in the Bible. It's in one of those scriptures. Sometimes yeah. I don't have you ever felt like, I know I felt like that, like, yeah. even people try their hardest to be there for me, be there for me. I'm comfortable being miserable sometimes. That's yes. sad. Well, yeah. Only be yeah. Like, if you try to force me to get, like, no, I'm right now, I want to be angry. Right now, I right now I want to be angry by myself. And until I'm over that and you can't force me, like, I'm, I'm going to be even more angry if you try to get me out of it. And that's sad. That's crazy. It, it's, but it's, no, it's real enough. No, I was going to say, it's not even, no, it's, 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 it's not, that's not, it's that's not. It's not, that's not sad mm-hmm. and it's, it's not, not crazy it's because not. that's just your deep emotions. Yeah, once again, the your human deep, emotions. Your deep emotions is coming out and that's how you just yeah. feel. Yeah. That's how you feel at that particular moment. Like I just said. Everybody yes. have a little bit of yes. depression in their life. Exactly. Everybody yeah. has a little bit of everything. Everybody's going to have them days. And I if mean... you don't have something in your life, you're missing something. Mm-hmm. And if you're missing something, nine times out of ten, you have the bipolar. Mm-hmm. Like you it. have depression. I feel like and social media doesn't make it worse. Oh, no, no, no. Social media oh, is no. the devil. It doesn't make it any better. Oh, social media is the devil. I'm okay. not jealous, and I don't want what the next person has at the end of the day. You never know what somebody has to get to, to get to where to get to. But sometimes I look at where I'm at in life, yes. and that plays a big part in too. I'm not going to say that's I'm true. a complete failure and all that stuff, and like I mean nothing, and I'm nothing. But I see people that's in my age bracket that's doing better than me, and it makes me feel like... But it, never makes you feel, it makes you feel but more day, I right. still don't know what they're going through because the day people portray a certain way on but social never media. Yeah, and then you never know what's going on behind the scenes way. of it. That's and I'm like, true. damn, I still haven't got, I haven't got married yet. I don't have any kids yet. It doesn't Some matter. People, and the people are like, listen, you have time to do that. And I'm like, that's yeah, why you I, say it, that that's now. True. That's what I keep but, telling myself because I'm seeing so, one of my friends, or two of my friends, they just had babies and whatnot. As much as I want kids, I look at that and sometimes I envy it because it's like, I want a family. I want a child of my own and I can envy that sometimes. Well, y'all can have mine. I no, 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 thank you. No, 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 thank you. I like yeah. what they made. No, no, thank you. You, yes, you got yes. that. I need a drink on that one. <laughs> mm. Uh-uh. Y'all I rebuke that. Mm-mm. Yeah, anyway. But, <laughs> but you know. You I know. just hurt my feelings. Just sitting here. <laughs> it's the truth. Just sitting here even talking about this. This is therapeutic right here. And I feel See, like that's this is for all of us. Yes. Like, I, I would have never even, yeah. even though I know this, this is going to be put on the internet, everybody's going to see it. I would have never really like been this open and talk. And if you guys mm-hmm. even stay here and talk, this is your therapy session. So it this is. is a therapy it session is for all of us. It is. And our little guest in the audience over there. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm talking about the scenes. <laughs> we can always help you. Yeah, we can. The doors is open. Yeah, the doors open. The our our inboxes is definitely open. Exactly. And those who know us personally, y'all know our phone lines is always open. Exactly. So. So. If you need any help, want to talk. Here. We're here. Contact her, me, and you can definitely contact Cece now because she is now the new <laughs> co-host. Well, so you, you can know. definitely hit her up. She's now well, a host for a web, a web show. Yeah. So, like I said, the th- between the three of us, I mean, we're going to keep this going. And if, this, is, this is for inspiration because like I was telling Della, and now I'm going to tell you the other day, one day, let's be for real, one day we're going to be gone. As in, God's going to be ready for us. We don't we don't know when that's going to be, but in case... When, in case we're not here for the next generation, at least they'll have this to look at when we're gone. They'll have some advice in case they don't have that advice or that support in their own um, family at the time. So this is for the next generation and for those who need it now. Well, we've got to close out soon. I, it seems like we was talking for a good while. I mean, anybody else want to say something before um, we get we get to some goodbyes? Um, well, I just, this is my first time. Yes. And I really as, yes. This. And you did very um, well today. You did very well. Thank you guys for opening your yes. arms to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining yeah. us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for this, filling the void. This is a therapeutic session. I was yeah. crying. I oh, it's okay. It's, I like me saying, <laughs> if you cry, feel free. We're going to have some tissues. This is, feel free. <laughs> let people see it. Let, let people see but it. This is how we I love real. you guys. We love you more, baby. Mwah, and I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. See, baby. <laughs> yeah, we family, okay. y'all. We family. Yes.
Uh, well, so now we're going to wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, we can today. wrap this up, unfortunately. But we yes. will be back next week with episode six, I believe. Episode six. Yeah. Now, that one's going to be a little bit more fun. We'll wait We'll wait till next week to give y'all a little insight yes. on that one. Just know it's going to be a lot more fun and less depressing than this one. But, <gasps> <laughs> but yes, so much. Uh, <laughs> it's the truth, hey. <laughs> but, um, re- but real quick, we just want to say real quick to anybody that's going through depression, um, just seek, know, help. seek help. help. Seek help. No, you are not alone. No, you are not alone. Whatever you do, do not, whatever you do, do not commit suicide. Talk, Talk. to somebody. Talk to somebody. Talk. Yeah. It's your life. Even means. write it out. Because yeah, write it out. Yeah. Definitely write it out. Write it out. Write it out, baby. So we're gonna wrap this up. Yes, we are. Tonight. And just know we love y'all. Thank y'all so much for supporting us through this journey. We all this was our fifth episode and we got five more left to go. So keep hanging in there with us, y'all. We about to make this an even more interest, interesting ride. We love y'all. Love us. Bye. And so once again, what are we y'all? The, the truth. truth. The truth. Amen. Until next time, y'all. Thank you.